In this video tutorial, we're going to be showing you the new document tool here inside Pixel Creator Pro. Um, first introduced in version 5, this tool is one tool that I think is really exciting and very, very useful. Now, of course, we know how to create a new document inside Photoshop. We can click on File, New, and then we specify the dimensions. We'll go, we have to, by default, when we create a new document in Photoshop, it always sets it up as pixels. Quite annoying. So then we can go ahead and uh, do a 10 by 20, uh, define our background color, pretty straightforward stuff, and click OK, and you get a new uh, blank document. Um, you know, nothing really uh, too spectacular there. But where the new document tool differs in Pixel Creator Pro is it gives us some additional options. So for example, I click on New Document, and it'll open up a large window. I'm going to go ahead and choose the Clear Fields option. And with this new document window, this is um, what we would actually want to use uh, when it comes to album design. So by default, first of all, you'll notice that you'll never have to switch from pixels to inches because um, by default it's going to be set to inches. And then we can go ahead and enter in a value. So we'll just go a 10 by 20. I have the exact same options as far as uh, assigning color profiles. And we can choose a background color to be the white the back the current background color in Photoshop or we can even do transparent um, and then uh, down here this is where we have some additional options where we can set margins uh, for our guidelines so we'll do an eighth and a quarter of an inch and then if we had if we had a need for additional guidelines we could add those right here and we can click on our, our double page layout because we're doing a double page layout and then we could even process a some type of script if we had some type of script that we wanted to process when creating this document or even some type of action uh, if we needed to run a particular action along with this document preset and we could actually save this preset if I needed to um, and I could go ahead and click OK and you could see where the difference is here we get a new document with all these guidelines already applied for us so this can actually be very useful now let me show you something that is uh, pretty unique to that new document tool as well if I uh, start my design process I'm gonna make a selection and then I'm gonna use my quick divide tool and then we're gonna divide vertically by three horizontally by three with a quarter inch spacing and we're gonna create image layers create some guidelines um, for my design process and then once my image openings are created, I'm actually going to delete a couple image openings and resize this box and snap to these guidelines. Now here's where the problem or potential problem comes into play is when I move over to this side of the document, I have all these guidelines extending from what I did over here on the right hand side and that can get quite annoying when I'm laying out the left hand side of my document. So naturally my first instinct would be to hit C for clear to clear out the guidelines but here's the problem I actually needed those initial guidelines that I had already set up I just I just wanted to clear out all the extra guidelines that I added when I designed this right hand side so when I click on new document all the options that I just used are still there and we have this other option just check that guides only and then when I hit OK all those guidelines that I originally started the document with are all put back into place for me so it's actually quite a useful feature. Now, one other thing that we have with our new document tool in a Pixel Creator Pro is we have the ability uh, to save our presets, but it also comes pre-designed uh, with a bunch of presets. Now, when you first install Pixel Creator Pro, you may or may not see these presets. And that's because uh, these presets you have to add in once the program is installed. And we have lots of different companies available, but for example, we have the presets for iBind Design Books. Uh, if you're not familiar with iBind Designs, you can go to iBindDesigns.com. And then we have presets for Picka Books. And then we even have presets not only for albums from White House Custom Color, but for greeting cards and all of their press printed products. So it's actually uh, quite, quite useful. So for example, if I wanted to create uh, some type of folded greeting card, I would choose that option. And then we have all these different presets um, for the different type so we could do like a 5x5 five five trifold uh, outside and click OK 
and then you can see we get all the necessary guidelines to show you where the fold lines are when you're doing a little 5x5 five five greeting card that's a trifold. So this would be the outside and then of course we'd have uh, a different layout for the inside. So that is the new document tool in a nutshell. Definitely a very useful tool here inside Pixel Creator Pro. Uh, certainly uh, a step above what Photoshop itself gives us by having the ability to add the guidelines as part of those uh, new document presets. So experiment a little bit with that. I think you'll find that would be a very useful tool for you uh, in your album design work.